Wyke appeals to UN to prevail on Buhari's government over Ogoni cleanup. Governor Nisam Wyke of Rivers State met with the top officials from the United Nations in his office in Port Harcourt. Governor Wyke lamented that one year after the cleanup of Ogoni was launched, the situation in the area has remained the same. Governor Nisam Izambo Wyke of Rivers State has pleaded with the leadership of the United Nations to prevail on the federal government to implement the cleanup of Ogoni land. The cleanup was flagged off in 2016 by acting President Yemi Osin Bejo. Naj. Com learned that Wyke spoke at the government house, Port Harcourt on Thursday, June 8 when he granted audience to the United Nations resident, humanitarian coordinator, Mr. Edward Callan. The governor regretted that nothing has so far been done on the Ogoni cleanup. According to Wyke, the large-scale environmental pollution in different parts of the state leads to environmental degradation which negatively affects the sources of livelihood of the people. He further said the cleanup of Ogoni land should not be politicized, as it dwells directly on the development of the area. Yesterday in the Senate, somebody said that the federal government has not done anything as far as Ogoni cleanup is concerned. When we were saying it. They said we were playing politics. But now, it has dawned on them that nothing is being done. So, we urge you to intervene. Part of the problem we are having today is because of the lack of attention by the federal government when it has to do with Rivers State. We will provide you with helicopter to see what we are talking about. Don't only read it on papers. You will really pity us, he said. A statement from Wyke's office said the governor added, The federal government has taken our oil and our environment has been degraded. Nothing seems to be done. We urge you on your own part as the United Nations to impress on the federal government that this cleanup is very serious. Let it not be a political issue. We should not play politics with the lives of the people. He also called on the United Nations to partner with the state government in the area of commercial agriculture adding that because of the volatile nature of oil prices, investments in the agri sector would help create jobs for unemployed youths. Governor Wyke urged the United Nations to provide a link for investors in commercial agriculture to come to the state, adding that his administration will provide incentives such as access to land and certificate of occupancy. Soliciting for partnership in the area of environmental sanitation, Governor Wyke declared that his administration places premium on the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. The governor informed the United Nations that his administration has improved security through the diligent implementation of the state amnesty program. Governor Wyke said that the state government was working with relevant agencies to improve human rights and decongest the prisons. Mr. Edward Callan had earlier lauded Governor Nisam Izambo Wyke for his infrastructural development. Callan said this had improved the living condition of the people. He promised that the United Nations would continue to mobilize support for the development of River State. He also assured that the United Nations would partner with the River State government in the area of agriculture as a tool of employment generation and empowerment. In a related development, Governor Nisam Wyke of River State has approached the Federal High Court. Abuja for a restraining order to stop the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Ibrahim Idris and two other security agencies from carrying a search on his Abuja residence or any other nationwide. Who will you vote for between Muhammadu Buhari and Governor Adelfeos? Watch this video.